This video is going to be on the hormonal regulation of calcium and phosphorus. And I have listed here the three main regulators, um, hormonal regulators that is, which are PTH, vitamin D, and calcitonin. PTH, or parathyroid hormone, is produced by the parathyroid chief cells. And its production and release is enhanced by a low ionized calcium or a low free calcium concentration in blood. PTH acts to increase the blood calcium and decrease the blood phosphorus. Now there is a closely related hormone to PTH called PTHRP or parathyroid hormone related peptide. And the source of this hormone is various cells throughout the body However, it's normally a autocrine or paracrine effect, so it's usually not produced in great enough numbers where it enters the blood circulation. So in a normal state, it's usually not detectable. However, there are some neoplasms that can produce PTHRP into a great enough amount where it does get into the blood and it does cause calcium phosphorus abnormalities. And the two main neoplasms that um, can potentially cause this is lymphoma, as well as some carcinomas, especially the apocrine gland adenocarcinoma of the anal sac. The actions of PTHRP are very similar to PTH, and the net effect is to increase the calcium and decrease the phosphorus concentrations in blood. Vitamin D can be acquired from the diet or it can be made within the body. So we have both exogenous sources of vitamin D as well as endogenous sources. The exogenous sources can be acquired through either meats or uh, ergo calciferol containing plants. But the endogenous uh, sources is um, actually has multiple steps throughout the body. So um, the skin is important in producing vitamin D as well as the liver, and then finally the kidney. But the main um, organ that we actually see disease in and therefore dysregulation of vitamin D is the kidney. And that's because the kidneys are responsible for converting vitamin D into its most metabolically active form. So if you have chronic renal failure, then you could potentially get low vitamin D and therefore low calcium. The stimulus for production and release of vitamin D is a low ionized calcium, and the net actions are to increase the calcium and increase the phosphorus concentrations in blood. Calcitonin is produced by the thyroid C cells and it is released in response to a high ionized calcium. And the net actions of calcitonin are to decrease the calcium and decrease the phosphorus concentrations in blood. So there you have it. The main regulators of calcium and phosphorus are PTH, vitamin D, and calcitonin. And then in some uh, types of neoplasms, you can also have production and release of PTHRP.